Good evening, and welcome to Primetime UGC Episode 15's Mini Mission Review. It's time to go through one from our guest author's catalog of work. This time around, we have The Great Escape by Zorbane. It's a Fed mission built on a solid premise, employing sound fundamentals. Let's begin our critique with story. You are sent to meet a secret contact near Deep Space K-7. What follows is a rousing adventure to sabotage a Klingon facility and escape intact. We enjoyed the story and many of its characters. It was a very straightforward combat mission without a ton of reading, and the writing was polished. Perhaps the Klingon character could have been more fleshed out because he didn't seem very honorable to us, but otherwise it was a good story. Zorbane did a nice job of executing his plot through concise dialogue that did not weigh down the action. He also delivers a surprise plot twist that makes the experience that much more enjoyable. Everything was logically done, and the plot never strayed from its straightforward goal of plausible story mixed with action. We gave story four stars. On to map design. Some of the maps were ambitious, especially the interior sets where there were lots of additional details added to the scene. Both the captain and myself would have enjoyed more details in the space map, but Zorbin's minimalist style might appeal to other players who are sick of asteroids everywhere in space. I myself love a good asteroid field, but yes, Zorbane might jump back into the editor and possibly enhance his space maps with a few colorful backdrops. That would make for an interesting atmosphere without adding obstacles for the player. The ground maps, on the other hand, were very well done and only added to the enjoyment of several well-laid-out battle sequences. Map design garnered 3.5 out of 5 stars. Now tech. Tech was nicely done. Instructions were clear and the maps were easy to navigate. I also appreciated the times when my bridge officers did things for me instead of telling me to run between four or five consoles to do everything myself. Not a ton of tricks, bells, and whistles, but the mechanics were well put together. We enjoyed a sequence of laying down explosive charges, knowing that Zorbane had to cleverly hide the majority of the asset to be able to use the prop effectively. It just goes to show that a good foundry author can work his or her way around the lack of even the most basic usable assets. We all hope this gaping hole in STO's foundry inventory will be corrected post Neverwinter foundry release. That is my solemn prayer to the UGC gods. Meanwhile, back at this review, Tech gets a solid four stars. Lastly, difficulty. This combat mission was a lot of fun, and it culminates in an epic space battle that is just the right length and balance. I was really impressed with this category. Even though I died more than a few times, it was fun and challenging. When a mission is mostly combat with few puzzles, branching dialogues, and fetch quests, it's very nice when it's balanced well. Agreed. I'd also like to point out that the helper ships and Zorbane's large space battle sequences do not do all the work for you, like you find in a lot of missions. You genuinely feel your participation is essential. In this category, which is always the hardest to judge, Zorbane gets five stars. That's our review for The Great Escape by Zorban. Go forth, all you found the authors, and continue to provide content. Next time on Primetime UGC, we double it up with one mission from two perspectives when we are joined by guest author XR377.